let's solve another problem based on even and odd signals in this problem we need to find the even and odd components of signal xt let's say t square sine t is the first term t cube by sine square t is the second term t cube cos t is the third term cos cube t by t square is the fourth term and the last term the fifth term is t raised to power 5 divided by sine t raised to power 5 and we need to find out the even component and the odd component there are two ways to find out even and odd components the first one is to perform the time reversal and find out x minus t once you have x minus t you can easily use the formula for even component x et which is equal to 1 by 2 xt plus x minus t you can use this formula to get the even component after which you can use the formula of odd component which is equal to 1 by 2 xt minus x minus t this method is for your university exam and I will use the properties of even and odd signals to solve this problem so in this lecture we are not going to use the formula for even component and the formula for odd component but we will use the properties of even and odd signals before analyzing these five terms individually we will first revise the properties we are going to use in this problem so we will first revise the properties of even and odd signals we are going to use in this problem when we multiply two even signals the result is even signal and when we multiply two odd signals the result is even signal again and when we multiply one odd signal and one even signal the result is odd signal 1 by even 1 by even is equal to even 1 by odd is equal to odd and if there is any algebraic function with even power for example t raised to power 2 it is an even signal and if there is algebraic function with odd power for example power is equal to 3 the function or signal is odd signal and we already know cos t is an even signal and sin t is an odd signal and we will use these properties to find out even and odd components of signal xt first term is t square sin t t square is even sin t is odd so we have even signal multiplied with odd signal and when even signal is multiplied with odd signal the result is odd signal so t square sin t is the part of odd component the second term is t cube divided by sin square t sin square t sin square t is equal to sin t raised to power 2 so we have we have odd divided by odd multiplied with odd sin t is odd and in denominator we have sin t square this means sin t multiplied with sin t or odd multiplied with odd odd multiplied with odd is even so we have odd divided by even or we can write odd multiplied with 1 by even 1 by even is equal to even so we have odd multiplied with even and when we multiply odd signal with even signal we have odd signal we have odd signal so minus t cube divided by sine square t is the part of odd component now we will analyze the third term t cube cos t t cube is odd cos t is even and we have odd as the final result so plus t cube cos t is the part of odd component now we will analyze the fourth term cos cube t divided by t square cos cube t is equal to cos t raised to power 3 and we already know cos t is an even signal and cos t cube means cos t multiplied with cos t multiplied with cos t or we can say even signal multiplied with even signal multiplied with even signal even multiplied with even is equal to even so we have even multiplied with even again and this will give us even so cos t cube is even signal and t square is also an even signal so we have 
even signal divided by even signal or we can write even signal multiplied with 1 by even 1 by even is even so finally we have even multiplied with even which is equal to even so the fourth term minus cos cube t divided by t square is the part of even component the last term t raised to power 5 divided by sine 5t or we can say sine t raised to power 5 is also the part of even component t raised to power 5 is odd and sine t raised to power 5 means sine t multiplied with sine t multiplied with sine t multiplied with sine t multiplied with sine t sine t is odd so we have we have odd multiplied with odd multiplied with odd multiplied with odd and multiplied with odd odd multiplied with odd is equal to even so we have even multiplied with odd even multiplied with odd is equal to odd then we have odd multiplied with odd which is equal to even and finally we have to multiply even with odd which will give us odd so sine t raised to power 5 is equal to odd this means we need to divide odd by odd or we can say odd multiplied with odd which is equal to even so t raised to power 5 divided by sine 5 t is also the part of even component like the fourth term and if we write down if we write down the even and odd components of signal xt then we have then we have even component as minus cos cube t divided by t square plus t raised to power 5 divided by sine 5 t and the odd component the odd component x o t x o t will have t square sine t the first term minus t cube divided by sine square t the second term then we have t cube cos t the third term so this is the answer for this problem and you can see we have easily obtained the even component and the odd component of signal xt by using the properties of even and odd signals and whenever you appear in any competitive exams like gate ies etc then try to solve these types of problem using the properties this will save you a lot of time and you can give this time to the problems which are more complicated so this is all for this lecture see you in the next one